Circle Broom Review. Is Circle Broom the best Twitter management tool? It's been a difficult few years for Twitter tools. With Twitter getting stricter with what functionalities these tools are able to utilize, we've seen many of the greats get practically shut down overnight. Manage Flutter, Crowdfire, Status Broom, all the shell of what they once were. After all, it looked like Twitter has been looking to get rid of follow and follow tools for good. In an effort to combat spammers, even the tools that have survived have been subject to strict limits. One of these tools that still exists today is called Circle Broom. I've had the opportunity to use it for a couple of months now. Migrating after my previous tool, Manage Flutter, is rendered practically useless. Is Circle Broom a good Manage Flutter alternative and should you sign up? In this article, we're going to cover these questions and more. What is Circle Broom? If you haven't already had a chance to visit Circle Broom's website, the tool is pretty straightforward. Circle Broom lets you better manage your Twitter account by suggesting accounts for you to follow, as well as making it easy to unfollow accounts that either no longer follow you or may not be somebody who you want to follow in the first place. This may include spam accounts, accounts that don't speak English, or people that haven't posted in X amount of days. There's also a fairly simple analytics dashboard that can give some information about your account's numbers. Let's delve into all of these features in a bit more detail. Circle Boom Follow Features Circle Boom's following features is one of the most sought after aspects of the software, especially with all of the former tools no longer having this functionality. I will admit to partaking in the follow unfollow method on Twitter, and only on Twitter by the way, so if you're wondering how effective Circle Boom is for this purpose, I'd love to share that with you. Before I do that, let's talk about the different following features and how they work. I'm not following back. Very simple, it displays a list of people who are following you, but you weren't following back. I'm a fan of following people back, both to retain others who are doing follow and follow, and as an engagement and relationship builder, so it's nice that Circle Boom has this feature. Find followers. Allows you to display a list of another account's followers. Useful for finding other people to follow who follow similar people to you. Most people doing follow and follow will want to use this feature. Find friends. Displays a list of everyone another account is following. Smart search. Allows you to search for keywords in people's bios and tweets. This feature also allows you to narrow down the results, only finding people with a certain number of followers following in tweets. You can also filter by join date, location, and language. Hashtag and keyword search. Allows you to search by hashtag or keywords to find users who have tweeted about it. And blacklist. In this section, you'll find a list of people who you never want to follow. How good are Circle Room's follow tools? Each tool just mentioned works as intended, but I wasn't very impressed with the results. That being said, it isn't any fault of Circle Room's. I migrated from Manage Flutter, which had an insane number of filters, allowing me to find prime people to follow. Circle Room's follow tools have very few filtering options in comparison. They allow you to sort by the date the person's last tweet was, their account age, and the person's followers and following. However, they don't pull the person's entire list of followers or the entirety of the search results, which means you may be getting a lot of inactive accounts suggested for you. The follow process itself was very simple, however. Click a button and it will cue the person to be followed. The software will then carry out the follow, so you don't have anything left to do after that. Circle Boom follows very slowly, but I assume this was for protective purposes. I suffer no account locks while using Circle Boom, and a helpful box pops up notifying you if you approach Twitter's daily following limits. Additionally, Circle Boom keeps track of who you have already followed before, so you don't end up following the same person twice. This is extremely important when it comes to Twitter's guidelines regarding spam, so it's nice that they've included this. Circle Boom Unfollow Tools If you're not utilizing follow and unfollow to help grow your Twitter presence, Circle Boom's unfollow tools are equally valuable. Let's look over each of them in more detail. Not following back Just as it sounds, the not following back tool allows you to identify and unfollow people who aren't currently following you. It's also possible to filter out people who you have recently followed on Circle Boom, giving people adequate time to follow you back and avoid angering Twitter. Non-English accounts Unfollow people who don't speak English. An important note here. This tool seems glitchy to me. It suggested plenty of people who do speak English when examining their profiles in more detail. I would not recommend using this tool for that reason. Fake and spam. Identify and unfollow accounts that Circle Boom deems are fake. There are definitely some false positives here as well. Inactives, a great feature. Unfollow people who have not tweeted in X amount of days. Great for clearing out people who are no longer on Twitter, especially if you've hit a follow limit. However, some of these accounts will unfollow you shortly after you unfollow them. This may be due to these accounts using unfollow software themselves. Two actives. Allows you to identify and unfollow people who tweet more than 20 times a day. Useful for cleaning up your feed. However, if your goal is to maximize followers, it may be better to let your main feed become chaotic and utilize Twitter lists for organization. Eggheads. Identify and unfollow people who don't have a profile picture. All the ones I follow. Displays a list of up to 2,000 people that you follow. And whitelist. A list of people you never want to unfollow. How good are Circle Boom's unfollow tools? 
As previously mentioned, the non-English accounts in the Fake and Spam tool are both a bit glitchy, displaying people who obviously shouldn't be there. Other than that, all of the unfollow tools work flawlessly. I recommend utilizing an auto-collector to get through these quicker if you have a lot of people to unfollow. Circleboom Smart Tweets Circleboom Smart Tweets Tools is a collection of tools centered around the posting of tweets themselves. They contain an RSS publisher and a tweet scheduler. The RSS publisher allows you to automatically share posts of trusted sites you follow with your own text either before or after the article name and link. An example you may wish to try out if utilizing this feature is tagging the person in the tweet so they know that you shared it. You can also use this to automatically share your own blog posts. The tweet scheduler works just like it sounds. You can write a tweet in advance and have it automatically posted at a specific time. Photos and videos are also supported. Both features seem to work well. Circle Boom Analytics Unfortunately, I didn't find CircleBoom's analytics to really offer much of value. There's a dashboard that displays graphs of your total number of followers, which can show how your account has grown over time. There are also graphs for total number of people you're following, and your total number of tweets, including averaging how many tweets you send out per day. However, this is all information you can find out on free tools such as Social Blade. Of course, it's still nice that they included this, just don't expect anything too insightful. Pricing Pricing for CircleBoom is incredibly fair and scales with the number of accounts you need to connect with. For one account, CircleBoom runs at $5.99 per month if you pay an entire year up front, and $17 if you pay month to month. To manage five accounts, you'll need to pay $15.99 per month if paid annually, or $45 per month if paid month to month. Normally I'm hesitant to pay for a full year's worth up front, but the discount here is pretty steep. If you feel like CircleBoom will be something you use for the long term, it may be worth it to choose the annual option. Would I recommend CircleBoom? It depends. If your goal is just to utilize the unfollow and management tools, then CircleBoom is probably the best value tool on the market. The price is extremely cheap and handles all the basics really well. For the price, you really can't go wrong. However, I found the follow tools to be lacking, especially in comparison to other tools that are still on the market. For those looking to find new people to follow, I'd have to recommend Tweepy over CircleBoom at this time, due to the filtering and sorting tools available. My followback rate was much higher when utilizing Tweepy due to these added features. Tweepy is much more expensive though, unless you buy CircleBoom's annual option. Annually, Tweepy comes in at $129 for the cheapest plan versus CircleBoom $72. In the end, it ultimately comes down to what you need from a Twitter tool. What CircleBoom does, it does well. I hope that you found this review helpful, and if you have any questions about CircleBoom, I'd be happy to answer them for you. To your success, James McAllister.